here in Edgecombe with uh, Munro. Now Munro is a, a on the Kawaro Youth Council, you can see on his top here, and uh, is also a student at Tarawera College. And now we've looked at you know the impacts and the potential hazards from earthquakes, Munro. Now I notice that you've got this thing here. Make a plan. So in terms of getting ready for an earthquake event. This is something we can find on the Get Ready website mm. and fill out. Tell us a bit more about that. Um, this sheet you can fill out online. Basically, and it just helps you prepare for an earthquake or a natural disaster. So things like fixing large shelves or fixing your TV to something so it doesn't topple over or um, making sure that you have enough water or food. So. Yeah, this, this sheet of paper you can do online and you'll get it a piece, a copy like this and you can stick it up on your house and you can refer it back to it to see what you need or if you can do something better, so yeah. Yeah, it's a really good thing to go through with the whanau to make sure that everybody knows what you can do in those, with those different impacts. So, for instance, you talked about food and water. Um, Sometimes the water might be cut off or you might not be able to go out to the shop like mm. normal and get some, some kai. Yeah. So you talked about having a bag, maybe you might need to leave your property as well. Mm. So you might have to stay or leave. Tell us a bit more about those emergency supplies. We call it a grab bag. Basically you put some supplies away in a bag and if you need to exit your home for whatever reason you can just take that bag full of whatever supplies you need and it gives you enough to keep going for about three days. And sometimes, of course, you have to stay at home. Mm. So you're going to need to make sure you've got some supplies to stay in your house for a few days as well. Yeah, um, three days worth of water and food is always good. But it does really depend on whether you do have power and electricity in your house. So, Yeah, yeah so, so in that case, you're going to need some alternative ways of mm. cooking if you can't put the oven on and that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, um, maybe the barbecue. <laughs> you know, we, we don't like to think about these hazards like an earthquake mm. happening, but but they are a possibility. So, what what sort of message would you like to sort of say to, to young people who are maybe not really thinking about these sorts of things? Mm. You know, about preparedness. Yeah, um, yeah. For the young people out there, it's I don't think it's on your mind. I think you know you've got a lot of other stuff going on in your life, but it is something to take into consideration. Mm. Um, I think just. Let your parents know about stuff that they can do to help you and your family to prevent this stuff. You know, you never know when an earthquake could turn into a tsunami. So it's all about preparation. If you're prepared properly, then it's going to be a better time for you and your family. Yeah, and practicing those important um, actions like we've we've talked about already. Um, but that drop, cover, hold, long, mm. strong, get gone, also really important. Yeah. Hey, thanks for joining us this morning. It's yeah. nice to have. A younger face to give some of these messages and I hope you guys really listen to Munro, it was some really important messaging, thanks very much. Thanks, thanks for having me.